Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. Today we have a lug haul. Um, it's actually two orders, one from Lug Live and one from luglife.com. And both came right back to back because that's what they were ordered. Um, good deals on both. I did use one of my coupons from the holiday box because I didn't want it to expire. And it was a good time to use it. And there was a really good sale on some items as well recently. So we'll share that. Let's just dive right in. Um, first, it came with tissue, so we got the pretty multicolored diamonds. I always save the tissue. I don't know what I'm going to use it for sometime, but it's nice to have pretty tissues. There you go. So I'll put that aside. I also, uh, well, we'll get to that in a sec. So here's some new items, two new things. Uh, but before we even get into that, I got a pen with my purchase. Sometimes Lug will throw those little freebies in a gift of purchase. In this case, I got one of their metallic twist pens, and this one is Sea Life Blue. I don't know how well you can see that from there, but I do love it, and I, I keep them. So I will say I did buy already the Sea Life Blue pen. No, it was my own fault. Hey, wait for the free thing. It may or may not ever come, but when they came out in sets, I bought the C pack, and so this one has Sea Life, or I'm sorry, I said Sea Life Blue. This is Stars and Shells Navy. Sorry about that. But in the pack, there's Sea Life Blue and Nautical Navy as well. So the pack came like this. Obviously, I haven't used them. Um, I feel like I have one of these already in my cruising stuff. But anyway, that's what I was thinking when I bought this. And yay, can never have too many. And also, it makes a great gift for my cruising buddies. So thank you, Lug, for the pen. So not only had I bought these ones, because they do out their nice pens, um, but I also got the holiday ones in my holiday gift box. I believe that's where they came from. It has holiday sweaters, some stripes, and then it has that holiday pattern, which we're going to see again in a moment. Uh, unrelated reason, but you'll see it again in a moment. And then this was the original one that came with one of the other surprise boxes a while back. And this was the first set that came out as a set of pens. And has a mix of patterns, including this one. I don't know the name of it, but you see it right there in the top half. Now, what I liked about this was that it gave us a variety of patterns that I didn't like was that they were random mix of patterns. So they, they kind of didn't even, they kind of matched themselves a little bit, but not really. So anyways, I like the newer ones that are all one style. These would have been great if they were like half pattern, half solid color maybe, but I didn't like this combo. But they're still great pens, and a pen writes like a pen, so it wasn't a, wasn't a bad thing, so obviously I kept them. I haven't opened any of these because I have so many others, which is not a brag, but when I discovered Lug, they were doing pens pretty regularly, and I ordered a lot of Lug really short time, so I have... A whole bunch of the metallic ones and these are just the ones that are not duplicates <laughs> so lots and lots of them which is super fun I really really like these pens and I love that I can oops this one's not in there so I'll just put it right in there um, I love that I can match them to my bags so when there's pen slots which Lug is very good about having in their bags boom I have a matching pen right there um, prior to the metallic ones they had these other style which is like a plastic click pen. And they have a lot of, some of the patterns are in both styles, but some are only in one or the other. So yeah, I ordered a lot of lug, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah, so anyways, and then I have duplicates that I, I put separately. So these are ones that I have multiples of. And so I've been reaching there for gifts and sharing and trading and whatnot so anyhow that's how i've been rolling so thank you lug for the lovely pens because i i really really like them a lot obviously <laughs> okay now so what do we have here we have the toodle toodle t-o-o-t-l-e in black onyx this is a two pouch set it is a new style um it does feel like let me feel it's, it's a different material than the normal lug material. I would say just a nylon feel to it, but it does have like the padding between layers of fabric. So I, it's interesting, it, nothing wrong with it. And then this is like, I 
I don't want to say faux leather, but it's um, it's kind of like the faux leather feel to it. It's soft. Anyways, I like pouches. I <laughs> like I like being organized. I like trying all the new pouches. This one has the log logo embedded in it. It's kind of nice, and it's a two pouch set. So here's the other one. Really good size pouches. Both of them have that same logo there. Let me pull that little tape protector off of there. If I can grab it. Okay, so now you can see, get off the logos right there. So relative size, it's about two thirds the size of the larger one. I just think both great. You could even carry it as its own little clutch or something like that. Now, the thing about them, they're very simple. There's the name, Tootle, Tootle. Toodles. Um, inside outside pattern is the same. No issues with that. They are gun metal zippers. They're the triangular shape, so bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. Nothing wrong with it. And that trim is along the top edge. It's kind of a classy little pouch. Great size to put inside your purse. They're not plastic lined or anything, but they're wipeable fabric, so you could use it for pretty much anything. Now, I also bought this strap, and I forget what it's called, and I don't have the receipt thing here with me. I'll put it in the remarks, as always. Um, but it's sort of a keychain or a wristlet strap, whatever you want to use it for. And it also is the black onyx, so it looks a little different because it's different size shape to it. But it's it's the matching one, and it has that same trim fabric, if you will, which I don't know how to describe it. it almost feels like cloth, but it's not. Anyway. So, a great keychain clip or a wristlet strap you can use with whatever bag you want. It's a great size. It's big enough to easily put my giant hand through, and you, it'll stay on pretty pretty easy, but it would pull off easy, too. Hey, Kelly, what you sniffing? Come on. She's down here sniffing my leg. I did see a dog today, so maybe she's sniffing that. I don't know. I didn't really... I didn't play with it. Anyways, so, this is a seatbelt strap kind of material, but very robust. It's It's... Got the pattern on both sides, kind of a nice piece. Now, I bought this with these thinking, because I didn't watch the videos or dig in that much, I thought that there was a little loop on here and that I could just hook that on there and have like a little wristlet, because that makes a lot of sense to me. Put a little wristlet strap that matches. Yeah, that was a great plan. But between that and this, this kind of zipper is, is solid. It doesn't have the hole at the end. So I was thinking, worst case, you know, I, if it doesn't have a loop, then I could hook it on the zipper. Neither. It doesn't have a loop or a zipper. Um, some of the other lug zippers. No. Some, some I thought had a hole that you could clip it onto. But anyways, not, not the case here. So I have pouches and I have a keychain or whatever, they're not gonna end up going together. <laughs> now, I may use them together, like I have a black bag, I've got a keychain and some pouches that match. We'll see, but that didn't go as planned. Lesson to myself, maybe pay a little more attention, maybe watch the video before you make the order. I'm pretty sure I would order it anyway, so no harm, no foul there. All right, next items. Let's review today's outfit first before going on to the next outfit. Today's outfit is brought to you by Lug leggings in Paws Navy. So I got the Paws Navy leggings. These are really, really, really comfortable. They they come up nice. Now, I don't necessarily want them up that high, but for me, it works because my big belly makes them roll down. These don't. They're very comfortable. Very, very forgiving fabric. I mean, look at that play. I ordered them a little big, honestly, but uh, or a lot big. I don't care. I didn't want them to be all skin tight. These pockets are very generous. I could put pickleballs in there, no problem. I've got my phone in here right now, which is the 13 Pro Max, and my pants stay up and the phone is there. It's convenient. Um, these are the ankle length leggings, regular leggings. Got my pickleball shirt. And this is not a lug hat, sadly. I don't have a Paws Navy topper. I want one. I just haven't seen them. So either I missed it or they didn't make them. But Amy, if you're watching, I need a few more toppers, please, because... I need one in butterfly gray. <laughs> um, I need one in dragonfly icicle or whatever it is. And I also need one <laughs> tropical fog. 
And I also need one in bright floral. That's my first choice, honestly. Okay, why do I need those? I don't need them, but I want them. I have a matching hat and leggings in bloom black and resort black. I love them and I get huge compliments every time I wear them like, oh my God, that is so cool. Your hat matches your pants. Yeah, super fun. But I just like it, especially in the winter because these are warm, but not hot. So that's nice. Um, and in the summer or the hotter days, like today was nice. You can see I got a little sun, um, but they're not overheating. You know, they, they absorb the sweat, wick it away. They're very, very comfortable all together. Um, the only thing I really don't like about them is that sometimes I'm trying to put them on really quick and make, if you have your socks on, sometimes it sticks to the fabric. And if you try to push them through, like some pants you can just push through and they'll slide out, but it starts, you can hear the seams cracking, like you just have to be a little bit more careful. Um, and I sometimes have to remind myself that. So I'm afraid that I'm going to be too, um, too much of a hurry and I'm gonna rip my pants putting them on, but that's my fault, not theirs. They're just a really lovely, comfortable fabric. Very soft, very good. And I wash them all the time. I wash them inside out because I don't want them to get peeled fabric. I don't know if they would. I wash them on cold, inside out. And I hang dry them. I don't put them in the dryer. If I do put them in the dryer, it's air dry only. Um, okay, enough about care and feeding of my leggings. I have a bunch of them. Um, I did just buy some butterfly gray. So I just bought these and I bought three pairs of leggings. Two of them are regular and one of them is Capri. And I'll have to look at the tag to see which is which, but they're all the same configuration, all the same size. Butterfly gray is very pretty actually. And it comes out really nice on this fabric because that purple and that light blue just really kind of pop, which makes it very feminine, but yet, you know, sort of still a solid, color and I have a lot of things that match with it. Um, why does it look like I have two? Because this I had already and I didn't get the same thing even though it looks like it. These are the hula leggings, the hula skirted leggings, which by the way are capri length. I do like that about them. I like that the skirt is the same material as the pants. Very, very comfortable. Very forgiving. They look great. Um, a friend of mine has them. She bought this exact pair because she liked mine so much. Um, but yeah, so they're really cool. And if we do a tournament together again, then we're both going to wear them, which will be fun because they'll be all matchy matchy with our cutesy outfits. Um, but anyways, why I like them is just that they're the comfortable material. I wish I had the regular ones. So then I get the color all the way down my legs. So now I do. Now I have both. I have both in bright floral as well. So it was worth it to me to get the second one. Now, the skirts and the leggings, they're all great. They're lovely. My next request for Amy and company is, can you make shorts in this material and style? Like the same thing, but just the shorts or skirts or both. Because I get really hot. I live in Arizona. It's freaking 100 something degrees all summer long. So the leggings aren't gonna get much use, but in the summer, I still wanna look cool. I still wanna live life in color. So that would be really, really cool to have them in the shorter, cooler options. Yeah, so that's my request. All right, so these dragonfly ones, here's just a look at the pattern, the colors. This, I don't have anything specifically to match it. Uh, like I don't have the topper, I don't have, um, I really don't have a lot of dragonfly stuff. I have some, but not in this pretty pastels. Um, very spring to me, so I'm gonna wear this my next outing. Not tonight, but if I go play tomorrow morning, maybe. But yeah, just very springy, happy. And then the Tropical Fog, it's not dreary colors, I don't wanna say that, but nice neutrals and still, still very feminine, you know, with the tropical leaves, if you will. And these are full length leggings. I really do love the configuration and the material. So please make them in shorts and skorts, both. All right, cause I would buy both, the skort and the shorts. Just, just saying. Okay, next item. This is the Sherpa 
throw in campground green or camp green i think it is yeah of course it doesn't say on here this says spend the summer at camp lug that's what it says right here on this little thing which is a faux leather thing sewn onto the blanket this is a lovely very 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 soft very squishable sherpa blanket it is sherpa on both sides it's a single layer but it's bi-directional yeah single layer let me take this tag off i got this shout out to my girl who recommended the hatchback in this pattern super cute pattern love the pattern right up my alley um i rving all the time camping I used to tent camp but now i i, I go glamping instead but this is perfect for like sitting by the campfire. It's it's a darker color, so I'm not super worried about it. I would love this pattern in a colorful, like maybe a navy background with multicolored things, maybe, uh, or a black background. I don't know, but just with bright, happy colors for the camping stuff. There's tents, and let's open this up because I'm gonna put it into the RV, and straight away it's gonna stay there. Obviously, I'll wash it as needed, but let's see this whole pattern. There's cardboard filler. Yeah, the see, it's just perfect for camping. And it, I'm not big on olive green, though. That's why I didn't get the hatchback, just FYI. Uh, I mean, I was in the Air Force for 24 years altogether. So, yeah, I'm kind of over all the military colors. And I have tons of stuff in those colors anyways, but I'm colorifying my life now, girlifying it. But this is a really cute pattern. I mean, it has animals, it has the tents and trees, and it has equipment. You got bino. Yeah, just lots of fun stuff. And you guys, this blanket is super comfy soft. Like, it is gonna be so great. Because sometimes I get hot while I'm sleeping and I just wanna cuddle with, so, oh yeah, this is a good cuddle blanket. And yeah. In about two seconds, it's going to have Kelly hair all over it because that's how we roll down here, huh? Yeah, yeah. She doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. I know, salty, huh? Mama's got salty face. I know. Okay, go ahead. Okay, next item. We got another new item. This is the Sky Cubbies thing. Uh, you could use it for storage, transport, whatever you want. It is like a giant bento box, basically. This one is in resort black. And I really like this pattern. And I brought out a few things to compare to this after we look at this. So let's look at this, and then we'll compare it to some of the other things like the original bento boxes. Uh, but this is very large. It has the clear tops on all four pieces. It is a four piece set, so there's a clear top. And double zipper, I like that. This one, and we'll see about the other ones, but this has a top carry handle. Really like that feature. Very useful. And then these are very wipeable inside. Um, it's not the reflective insulated thing, but they do have a little bit of padding to them. So I think there's just a little bit of insulation to them. I don't think that's the primary purpose of them. They do have the clear tops. Not going to hold the cold for very long, if, if at all. But I like that they're super wipeable that way. So this is a great size for crafts. Like I could fit, well, I could fit a lot of things in there. And I will because of my travels when I go for a couple months at a time for the summer. Not this summer, but um, I go to my brother's and I live in my RV for a couple months. So it's a great way to kind of just keep things compartmentalized and yet have everything with you and know what's where. Because you can see it. You can see it right away. All right, so here's the other three pieces. Everything comes nicely wrapped, and we're just gonna take that right out. So each of these has some foam in it. Let's just clean all the stuff out. They all have carry handles. Yay! I like that. Do all of them? Yes, all of them. So these two obviously are the same size. I don't have the measurements on these, but they all came with that foam filler. I don't need that in there. And also this is new. I haven't had this in the past, but the zippers are now coming. They have like a plastic protection thing on there, which I'm gonna have to work on getting off later, but they, they have protector on there. 
Okay. But all of these are the same configuration as far as that wipeable interior. There's nothing in this shape that's this style. So I'm gonna just set those aside for a sec and look at this one. So this is a pretty, pretty tall, pretty big. I have the same type of item that you could buy individually. Um, this FB Center. I can't remember the name of this item. I'll have to look it up for you. There's the tag with FB Center in butterfly gray. Um, it is smaller, okay? So here it is side by side. It's a little bit smaller this way. Roughly the same size in this dimension and not as tall in this dimension. Let me set that aside because I have one that's the same item, but it's packed. This one is in, I guess, uh, this looks like grape purple because the violet was a little brighter. This is grape purple. But speaking of violet, I'm all over the place today, but I came prepared with reach back items. Obviously, I had all these. The Cubbies thing is the only new piece. These are look backs for comparison's sake. So this is violet, this is great purple. There you can see them side by side. It is a little bit deeper purple, not quite as vivid as the violet. Um, yeah, so this item is the one I just showed in butterfly gray, and there's the comparison side by side. So obviously this one has stuff in it, this one doesn't. It is slightly taller in this dimension, actually, um, and slightly thicker here as well. Slightly. Okay. But in here, I just, I have the stuff. This is a perfect size. This is my tow tablet, <laughs> if you want to call it that. For our, My RV has a tow car now. And this is the setup that came with it. So this goes in the RV. And these are the, the chargers for all the system stuff. And that's how it communicates with the braking system in the car. And it fits perfectly, literally perfectly right into this compartment. So yay on me for just happening to have that lug thing on hand. Just another excuse to buy more all the time because you never know when you're gonna need it. <laughs> Xena logic. Anyways, my double zipper fits perfectly. I know exactly what's in it. And there you go. And it's a single item. It doesn't come as a set like these do. But let's see, just I'm curious now that I picked that up. I wonder this might fit exactly inside here. And it does. Not that I need double protection for it, but for your reference, there you go. It actually nests directly inside. Can't imagine why you would need to do that unless you're trying to insulate or something. But anyway, so that is how I'm using that one. But I did bring another piece for comparison. And again, I don't have the names. I will try and find the names of these individual ones down below. But they're all similar stuff. This one is in black large dot, obviously, and still has the same basic configuration, but this one also came as a single, and this one is actually insulated. So you have a little bit of insulation on the top, whereas this one's just clear all the way around. So this one is like the other style. Clearly the plastic part is not insulated, but still, this will hold a little bit of the coolness, or maybe warmness. Um, I wouldn't put anything hot in there, but anyways, great size for a lunch bag or um, keep some snacks cool when you run off to play a sports or on a day trip or something. I got this particular pattern thinking this would go good with all my dots, my black and red large dots, crimson large dots, for like Disney thinking, but... I haven't even used it for that. I don't think I've actually used it at all. But also for comparison, I brought out the bento box set. This one is not used yet, obviously, but this one is in the violet color, so let's compare. This one has three pieces. This one has four pieces. But look at the size difference there. So if you have a regular bento box, there's your comparison of what we're looking at for total size of the piece. And then these pieces, like, they're thicker. See the depth there? But this piece is two-thirds the size of the whole bento. So now I have a variety of sizes and shapes. None of them are the same, which is great because it gives you options. I love options. 
So I'm just gonna set these back inside here for now. I'd like that they nest together for storage when they're not being used for other things. You can also fill all the small ones, put them back in the big one, and now you have like your different things together, but still separate. So very great for organization. I love organization. Um, okay, so these ones, slightly different. Again, this is a reach back. I already had this item. Um, but these ones are all violet. These all have carrying handles too. But there's your sizes, so big difference. This one is basically the same size as that insulated pouch that I showed. So that's kind of where that branched off on this single item size. But you can get that same size without the insulation, but in the bento box sets. I have lots and lots of bento boxes. I just kept buying them. Every time a pattern I liked, or it would match my other bags because they're great in other bags as well, or just use for organization. But I, I keep thinking of so many ways to use them, and then I just ended up with more than I needed, but I still want them. And I just keep it wrapped up until I use that particular one. So there it goes, back in the closet, or in the bag room. Okay, one last item. This has been a fun one for me. I hope y'all are hanging with me. Um, not TMI, I hope. But this is Extra Large Gallup. Gallup? No. Yes, Gallup Extra Large Home, Paws Navy. I'm glad I ordered this. This was on sale, and it was a good deal. And I just got my first one of the Gallups in the holiday box. The holiday box, it was this one, in fact. This one right here with that cute holiday pattern with all the novelty stuff on there. And I fell in love with this. These are so, so perfect for me for loading and unloading the RV. Um, they're great for so many other things. I mean, they're great for storing things in, carrying things, moving them around. You can do a picnic, a weekend trip, uh, put it in the car for the kids between the seats, uh, whatever. So, so many things. I personally just use them to pack and unpack the RV because I'm doing that a lot lately. Um, but it's not that some stuff stays in the RV, but like you got to bring the freezer stuff, the fridge stuff that you want to put in there or take out and bring back in. You got the dry foods, you got your clothes, maybe whatever. So now I have three of these because I like this one so much that came in that holiday surprise box. And um, yeah, I don't care about what the pattern is per se because it just goes in the RV. And when it's, once I've unloaded it in the RV, I can either bring it empty back in the house and leave it and head out on my trip, or I can stow it pretty easily in the closet in the back, just, you know, put it down to its flattest and then just stack them up right next to each other in the closet. That's what I did. Um, it does have the clear pocket on the front. It has these nice handles with a no slip grip and it's a pretty good size. Let me just lay that bottom down. So that's the size of it. I ordered this one. I saw that it said XL and I didn't have time to go look at my other ones or to see anywhere else if these were XL as well or if they're just regular. And I did not think they were XL so I'm really glad I got this one because it is bigger. Go figure. Um, so I guessed right that I didn't have that size and now I wish I ordered more of them but I don't want a bunch of the same pattern. I don't need more. I have three of these and now one of these. I think that's plenty, honestly. We'll see, but yeah. So inside they do have a clear pocket. So if you wanna throw your keys in there or whatever stuff. And I'm gonna leave that set up for a sec. Okay, so my other two I have, I have the Autumn Daisies and Resort Black. So they're all pretty and of themselves. Uh, but let's look at them standing up side by side Oops, I'm not turning it over. Okay, so they are in the same configuration, but look at the size difference. This one is quite a bit larger, and I would say this one is only three quarters the size of this one. So let's set it up and look at them side by side. Set up. All right. So how they set up, they, um, they have just a fabric bottom that folds up, and then they come with this piece right here. It's basically a semi-rigid bottom 
and it has a little loop. So you wanna make sure that the loop is on the upside so that you can grab it easy and, and pull it out. But you just lay that on the bottom and it holds the thing open. And now you have a rectangular storage or transportation vessel or whatever you want to call it and it, it holds its shape and the straps are nice generous length so even with them loaded now i just take one in each hand and go but you can even put them over your shoulder and carry them that way um, because of the no slip grip they will stay pretty well on your shoulder it is imperfect but there you go so just make sure that's facing down and it will stay and for me, I'm just going from the house across the driveway to the, the RV, but they are really great. They make really great trunk organizers as well. Internally, there's not a lot of organization, but you could go to the grocery store, put this in the basket, put all your groceries in there, check out, put them back in there, and now you don't even need grocery bags. You just have one big thing full of groceries, and there you go. That's one way to use it. So. I love that it's bigger, because that just means I could take less of them and less trips in and out. So here they are side by side, set up. So you can see the height difference there. And the width also, if you can see, I'm gonna line up this edge. Um, they're not significantly different, but you can see right there, it's, it's that much. So a good inch, inch, inch and a half difference. You can look at the actual measurements. Um, and then, what dimension did we not do? Base, you see the bases? Total space, pretty comparable, but very convenient. I like that they just, so easy to set up and take down. You just lift that, kind of push up the middle, and you can see where the creases are. Push up the middle and the sides will just collapse in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm, this one doesn't want to go. Why does it not want to go back? There it goes, because the thing was in the way. Okay, but they collapse right back down. You can put the straps on one side or just let them fall like this. And then you could just store them flat. So there's one. Pull up that other one. Oops, put that both on the same side. And collapse it and if you don't push up the bottom that's okay it just sticks out the bottom then there's that one and number <laughs> I feel like they're all upside down and upright and then the last one I'm facing them all the same way there you go and so with four of them that's still not that much space. They fold down pretty flat and pretty compactly considering their size. So very useful though. Great for organizing, great for transporting for sure. And that's it for this one. Hope you're having a great day, doing well. Be safe, be kind, and talk to you again soon. Bye for now.